today we'll be taking on the rest of Old Yarnum in Bloodborne. All right, so I'm not gonna lie. I have absolutely no clue where we're supposed to go, what we're supposed to be doing next. We haven't been over this way yet. We got six blood vials. I don't like how there were six blood vials sitting next to a really tall and spooky ladder. Hello? There's something dangerous at the end of this ladder. We got a spooky door. Is there anything waiting for me outside? Wait, I think this was just a shortcut because if I remember correctly, we were getting shot at and then we sprinted down this way and ran through the church. I haven't been up this way yet. Hello? Is there anything up here? Okay, we- Oh, we got some more guys. It's been a couple days since I've played. How are my combat skills? Oh no, the turret's back on me? I haven't been to a lamp in a while. I really don't want to die right now. And I died. I understand I'm not welcome here, but why is there a turret on top of the building? Like, of all the things. All right, so now I gotta figure- Oh, God. How do I get back to where I was just at? Okay, so if memory serves me correct- Oh, no. Memory does not serve me correct. Where do I go? I believe we opened this door. Then we got all the spooky dialogue of, You're not welcome here. And then we went over this way. Oh, my me. Just a buff Asian boy. Don't need to attack me. And then the turret is on top of there. So our blood echo should be down here. Drop. Nope. Move. Heal. Hide behind the thing. You have a lot of bullets, my friend. All right, now where are my souls? That is literally all I want. I just want my souls and I will leave. You won't ever see me again. I just, I want my souls. Now, question is, I died to the t Oh, okay, so he has my blood echoes, which I don't really know how that works because normally the enemy that killed you is holding your blood echoes, but he didn't kill me. The turret is what killed me, so that's interesting. Come on. Here we go. Do I get my blood echoes back? Thank God. I'm literally sitting on like 6,000 of them right now. If I would have lost those, I might have screamed. We got a spooky building over here. I, 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 I was going to wait to go in here, but I don't really have an option with everything that's chasing me right now. Okay, the odds are very stacked against me right now. Come on, it's got to play it careful. I'm trying to heal. I can't even move. I'm literally just stuck in a corner. Okay. Come on. I, I, like, I can't even attack. So many fucking enemies. Come on. Alright, I'll go. And the turret's back on me. What is this area? Oh my god, it is too early for this. I get it's a From Software game, but man, do I really have to fight 74 werewolves back to back? Honestly, if it wasn't for the turret, it wouldn't be so bad. Is there a way for me to disable that turret or something I could do for it to not shoot at me? That thing is getting on my nerves. Now I gotta retrace my steps. So we went up this way and into this spooky building. Now, which one of you MFs is holding onto my souls right now? Oh, of course, it's you, the big lanky emo guy. Come on. Oh my... No, I, I, I can't die. I literally, if I lose these souls, I'm... Trying to, I'm trying to be careful. Fuck, there's so many enemies. Just one at a time. One at a time. Play it smart. Come on. It's like a game of COD Zombies. Just gotta train them up. I, wanna, I just, I just want to kill this one so I can get my souls at least. Alright, there we go. Get my souls back. Come on. Oh my god. We got an item in here. What's this? A blood-tinged gemstone? Hopefully there isn't any more turrets or swarms of enemies. Wait, there's swarms of birds. I, I wasn't gonna hurt you, man. You can calm down. Ow. Turrets see me! It really is one of those days. Oh, I can't wait to read the comments on this one. Skill issue, get good. <laughs> what did I do to you? Like, why are you so angry at me? <laughs> Fucking shit. Hey, what are you? It's a hunter. That's my second encounter with that thing. Every time I- wait, it like- it keeps getting close and it like goes away. Can I- oh, I barely- oh, I barely do any damage to you. Well, I don't like that. Come on. Don't run away, just fight me. Fight me. Come on, show me what you're made of, fool. There we go. Transform attacks going strong. Come on. Go back away, come fight me. Fight me like a man, or a woman, whatever you are. Come fight me. Come on in. Alright, come on. No, don't back away from me. Come on. No, because you know if I go out there that the turret's gonna shoot at me. Come here. Come here. That's what I thought. 
You ain't, you ain't no, you don't stand no chance. No, I'm blocking this area. You ain't going back. You ain't going back. You're done. You're done. How many souls are you gonna give me? You gonna give me any souls? It only gave me 795 souls, but it dropped something. A bone marrow ash. Additional medium that strengthens quicksilver bullets. I might have to try that. For now, I need to go get my 6,000 souls back. By the way, I know they're called blood echoes. It's just, it, it, it's a souls thing, man. I, I can't help it. Oh no. 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 I don't want to be poisoned. I don't want to die. I have 6,000 souls waiting for me. Just let me kill this bird. I literally, I don't even want to hurt you guys. I just want to kill the bird. Give me, give me bird. Give me my souls. That's all I wanted. The other birds. Okay. Got the item. Uh, a pebble. Thank you. Another pebble. Thank you so much. Two bloodstone shards. I needed that. Now, I would like to keep moving along if you enemies wouldn't mind. Oh, there's more items. Why is this place trying to kill me? Like, what did I do to deserve this? Plus, I'm poisoned, so I gotta I gotta use an antidote yet. Oh my god, this area is literally gonna make me snap my disc into four different pieces. This Bloodborne area is pure torture. That's actually a good title idea. At this point, I don't even know who's holding on to my blood echoes. It's one of them. It's either the birds or one of the werewolves. Like, I don't even know who has my souls at this point. This isn't even a matter of me trying to traverse this area anymore. It's literally just a journey of me running back and forth trying to keep my souls. So when I run in here, there's going to be a bunch of explosions. So I got to be ready for that. And of course, the one hiding behind all the explosive barrels is the one that has my souls. So I don't even know what I'm supposed to do. Oh, wait, the turret got... You know what? Thank you, turret guy. So I got all 9,000 of my souls back. We definitely need to go spend those. Got three more antidotes. Come on. Goodbye, emos. I think I might want to level up my endurance a bit. Not too much, but like at least like another level or two. Go down. No. Come on. Die. All right, we're safe. We got two more blood vials from that one. Thank you. We got another item out here. I'm trying to be careful. Oh, another bloodstone shard. I think we ought to have enough to level up, right? Oh, no, we need one more bloodstone shard. You know what? Before we go back to the hunter's dream, let's see if we can find one more bloodstone shard here. I definitely think that a level up is in order, both for my weapons and my character. Okay, so is the terror? Yeah, the turret's right up there. Dodge! Okay, I'm safe. Go up here. I guess I gotta use these, like, statues for cover. I'm getting closer to it. I gotta be careful, though. I really don't want to die. I'm starting- You know what? I think I should just go back to the Hunter's Dream and spend these Echoes. Then again, I know that's gonna take forever, so at this point, I'm just doing it to myself. I'm gonna keep trying to move forward. <laughs> we got 10 Blood Vials. If I can find a way to shut off this turret or at least get past it within these 10 Blood Vials, then, you know, that would be awesome. I'm really getting annoyed of having to- Wait, no. I know where I'm at. I just did one big old loop-de-loop. I am literally making no progress in this area. There's another emo. Are you going to drop me a bloodstone shard? I know some of you guys drop me those things. Oh, no. More enemies coming. More, more enemies coming in. Go down. Thank you. Are you going to drop me a bloodstone shard? Are you Are you going to be one of the nice ones? No, you suck. How are you? You want to drop me something? Absolutely nothing. I remember there's an item down here. I wonder if this might be a bloodstone shard. All right, now this might be a bad idea because I don't know if there's any way to get back up. Bloodstone. Literally one bloodstone. That's all that I needed. Hey, look at that. There's a ladder over... All I had to do was look down. There, there, was, there was no floor in front of me. How did I not see the fact that there was no floor in front of me? Please tell me this works like the other Souls games where your souls are left off on like the last solid piece of ground that you stood on. Please tell me these are my echoes, please. Oh, thank goodness. All right, now question is, how do I get back up there? Is there like a homeward bone in this game or something equivalent? Old Hunter's Mark, awaken anew without losing blood echoes? You wish to reawaken. I don't know. It says I won't lose blood echoes. What about my insight? Will I lose any of that? Screw it. I'll go for it. I... Oh my gosh, I am hoping that this doesn't, like, screw me over somehow. Oh, thank god. Okay, we have all of our souls, all of our insight. We are going back to the Hunter's Dream. I need to upgrade a bit. I wasn't sure what I was expecting when I started recording today, but... It wasn't this. Before I level up or do any of that, immediately we're going to level up our weapon. At this point, we need three twin bloodstone shards. So there's multiple different kinds of shards in this game, the more that you level up your weapon. Somebody in the comments told me what the max weapon level is in this game. I forget what it is already. So I guess for now, I'll just keep upgrading that and putting in the gems whenever we find them. I don't think I found any other gems at this point. Yeah, we have some other ones, but I think, yeah, they just replaced the red blood gem slot. Oh wait, no, we can put ones in the second slot. So we have a tempering blood gemstone one and then wait 
Aren't these the same thing? This one boosted by plus 0.7, but this one boosted by plus 1.4, but it looks like it's the same thing as another. They're both tempering blood gemstone ones. Oh no, this one has a bigger number, so I'll go with that. So now I have both a blood gemstone and one of those other tempering blood gemstones on my weapon. If you couldn't tell, I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. I guess I'll boost my health up to 25 because that's when the soft cap begins, and then from that point, I'm gonna put endurance maybe up to like 15 something around there and then after that i'll probably just focus on leveling up like my strength and my skill because endurance i mean your endurance bar is so crazy in this game as is like you really don't need that much i'm just glad that i'm a bit more leveled up now i need all the hp i can get when i'm dealing with freaking torrents shooting at me <laughs> i want to go back to the church that we were at in the last episode where there was like that beast hanging i know there's a boss called a starved beast somewhere here in old yarnum and i was wondering if that's the one that i was after because i saw him hanging there but i don't know if there's something that i actually have to do in order to activate it. I did it to myself that time. I also made the fatal mistake of not buying more blood vials while we were there in the Hunter's Dream. Fingers crossed the enemies keep dropping them. I can't wait till we have access to the Sea War dungeon and I can go in there and just stock up on all the blood vials that I'd ever need. How much damage are you doing now? Alright, three hits for the little werewolves. I think that's pretty good. Oh yeah, that's a decent amount of damage. Now this place was an absolute nightmare the last time I was in here too, so I'm gonna be trying to be careful. I don't want to disturb too many folks. I wonder what I have to do because I'm pretty sure that's the star beast that I'm after. Please correct me if I'm wrong. I picked up the ritual blood from that little stand down there. I'm not sure if there's something I have to do with that or if I have to put it somewhere, if there's something else I have to activate to get the blood star beast to do his thing. Maybe I gotta tease him a little bit. Eat a gun. No, I didn't do nothing. Here we got another item over here. More, more pull blood dues. I could definitely use that. So many enemies down there. I do not want to go down there. They're chasing me around everywhere that I go. It doesn't seem like I have any other choice. Please don't hurt me. Oh god, these guys are taking a bit more damage. Why do they have red eyes? I don't I don't like that. Blood, uh, no, I popped a blood vial. You saw my guy doing I have died more times in this episode than I have in the entire game up to this point. What is happening today? Did my skill just disappear overnight? Oh my god. Oh, oh. Oh no, I lost my echoes too. It was only 3,000, but that's still 3,000, man. I just want to go tickle my little blood star beast toes, man. I just, I want to see if there's anything to it. You guys don't got to shoot at me. You don't got to attack me. I'm just, I'm a friendly buff Asian boy. I wouldn't attack you if you wouldn't attack me. Is there a way to level up blood vials in this game? Sort of like you can level up your Estus in the other games? Like, I don't think you can increase your carrying capacity past 20, but is there a way to level up how much each one restores your health by? Let me try this again. You guys, like, oh, 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 okay. I didn't realize just how many enemies are actually down here. <laughs> Gotta try to take on a group of enemies. Here we go. Okay. Why... I don't like the poisoning. That that sucks. That's really annoying. What is from software's obsession with making areas where the enemy's main status effect <laughs> effect that they inflict is poisoning? It, it happens in every Souls game at least once. You got that one annoying area where either the area itself or the enemies in it are just trying to poison you at every turn. Would a transform attack be good on a group like this, or would that be a terrible idea? So we go attack, attack, and then L1, transform. That, that was a bad idea. I literally didn't even achieve anything right there. Fucking shit. Maybe I'm taking this on at the wrong angle. I keep seeing this set of stairs that I keep running past, so maybe I'll try going down those this time, see if that takes me anywhere else. Right over here. I have no idea where this leads me to. I'm hoping somewhere safer. Oh no, the Turk can still get me over here. Okay, I'm alive somehow. Item, what's this? We got another cold blood dew. Thank you. Turk shooting at me. Is there another way down or is it? No, this was absolutely nothing. I also only have one blood vial, but I do have a bunch of cold blood dudes that I'm sitting on. So if I do die again, I'll probably just go back to the Hunter's Dream and spend all of my cold blood dudes on more blood vials. All right, I'm gonna give this another shot. Can I clear you guys out? Just one at a time, one at a time. Oh shoot, I'm also like out of heals. Should I even try at this point? I mean, I don't know. I guess I could. I'm poisoned, so it's not really gonna do me any good. Maybe I'll do it with the long blade so that I'm reaching from a farther distance. Every time that I attack them too, they like, they split up. So it's hard for me to get them all. Yep. 
I give up. If there's something I'm missing, if there's somewhere else I'm supposed to go here, please let me know. But otherwise, I'm gonna keep exploring. And I'm my fingers are crossed that this is just an optional area. I don't know how linear or non-linear this game is. I'll try going to a different area, but if this is like the only way I can go, I guess I'm just gonna have to buckle down and sit here and scream at my screen for the next three hours trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do here. Sorry for not getting much done today, but yeah. That's how it goes in the world of from soft games sometimes. As always, a shout out to the patrons and channel members, Carmen's Fate, Grandma, Liberty Tab, Big Daddy, Maddie, Chalupasaurus, Rex, Ray, Zach, Polar, Ray, De Webster, Lil Masby, Alcas, Brigatory, Drip Gasson, Miller, Last King, Computer Magic, Mason, Irving, TJ, and Y15, Flume 71, and Aaron Reynolds. Thank you guys for watching. Have an amazing day. Stay beautiful. I love you all. And remember, don't go hollow. Even though I really want to go hollow right now, dude. I want to snap this dish so. Love you guys. Peace.